Hi everyone. So in today's video, I want to prove uh, the De Morgan's law. So the De Morgan's law can be in two forms. It can either be A intersection B, the whole thing complement is equal to A complement, U and B complement, or A, U and B, the whole thing complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. So I'll show you how to prove uh, both of these uh, when given a question to verify the law of De Morgan's. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so one thing you need to understand when solving De Morgan's law is that we have to prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Then we also have to prove vice versa that the right is also equal to the left. So let's start with the left hand side. So on the left hand side, let's assume we have any element x which is a member of A intersection B complement. Okay, so this is the left hand side. If x is a member of uh, this complement, then we know that x is not a member of A union B, since it's a member of the complement. So since what we want to come up with uh, is a union, we can say, uh, if x is not a member of these two, then we can simply say x is not a member of A, or x is not a member of B. So the reason why we're using O is because uh, we have to prove that it's equal to the right, which will have a union. So if x is, a member, is not a member of A, then of course x is a member of A complement, or x is a member of B complement. Now, because of the word O, we know that O means union and and means intersection. So we can say X is simply a member of A complement union uh, B complement like that. So we have shown that the right left is equal to the right. So now let's work on the right hand side. Working on the right hand side is as simple as doing the reverse of what we've done. We're going to assume let's assume Y. Y is a, a member. Let's say Y is a member of everything on this side, which is A complement union B complement. Now, since what we're looking for is an intersection, we're going to say Y is a member. Uh, what we can see here, first of all, is that uh, it's a member of the complement and the other complement. So we can say Y is a member of A complement, and Y is also a member of B complement. So, if it's a member of the complement, then you know that it's not a member of uh, A. So, Y is not a member of A, and Y is not a member of B. So, if that's the case, because of and, we're going to say, then Y is not a member of A, and means intersection, it's not a member of B. So since it's not a member of A intersection B, then Y is a member of A intersect B complement. So we have shown that the left is equal to the right and that the right is equal to the left. So let's look at uh, the other type. Okay, so it's pretty much it's pretty much similar to the previous one. I want to do uh, I want to work it out in the same way. Where we say, let's start the left hand side, where we say x, let x be a member of A union B complement. So if it's a member of the complement, then x is not a member of A union B. So since what we're looking for is an intersection, then we can say x is not a member of A and x is not a member of B. So if it is not a member of B, then of course X is a member of A complement and X is a member of B complement, like that. So putting these two together, since we're using and, then we can say X is a member of A complement and means intersection B complement. So we have shown that the left is also the right. So let's show on the right hand side as well. We show that the right is also equal to the left. 
So we're going to assume that Y is a member of A complement intersection uh, B complement like that. So if Y is a member of A complement, then we can say uh, Y is a member of A complement or Y is a member of B complement. So the reason why we're using O is because our target is to come up with a union, which is, uh, which, uh, of course, we know that O means a uh, union and, and means intersection. So if it's a member of the, of the complement, then Y is not a member of A. O, Y is also not a member of B. So if it is not a member of B and A, then we can say Y is not a member of A union B. So if it's not a member of A union B, then Y is of course a member of A union B complement. So there we have it. We have shown that the left is equal to the right as well as the right is equal to the left. So this is how we solve the De Morgan's clause. Thank you very much.